Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Jira with ServiceNow. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at atlassian.net and uh, head straight to Jira. Once we are at the Jira workspace and we have some projects running, we want to go to the apps uh, on the top side of your screen and we want to go to find new apps. Once we click there, uh, as you can see, you can choose from uh, over 1000 uh, apps, but we want to start uh, with uh, ServiceNow. Or we try to find ServiceNow here. Uh, right here, you can click on the ServiceNow once you find it, and you can try it uh, for free, or uh, after running out of uh, free time, you can just go and buy it uh, uh, for $1.5 per month. We can also use automate.eo, which I will leave the link in the description underneath the video. Uh, once we're here, we want to go to the top uh, corner of your screen and we want to go to integrations. Now we want to go to the bottom left corner of uh, this pop-up window and uh, see all categories. Now we have to, or we can search from more than 200 apps. So uh, we want to start with Jira. Sorry, Jira, like this. Uh, as our first app, it's all settled. Now we have to find the counterpart, which is ServiceNow. We click on ServiceNow and we want to scroll down. Uh, we, have some, uh, we have some already pre-made integration that we can pick from, but if you won't be able to find the one for you, you can keep scrolling and uh, you'll get to create your own integration. Underneath the triggers, uh, on the left side, we want to start with the Jira options. So all those blue. Uh, let's go with the uh, let's go with the first one just to show you. Underneath the action, you want to actually go uh, with uh, service now. So let's go with the first as well. Now, uh, when we press on try now, we'll get redirected and we should be able to log into our automate account, and we'll be we will be like couple of clicks away from uh, finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier as, uh, at zapier.com, but we, can, uh, we have to all, uh, also create an account here. Once we do that, we are greeted by the dashboard or, or Zaps you already made, and we want to go to the top left corner. We click on Make a Zap. We can name our Zap by like going like Jira to service now and it works basically the same way like it works worked at uh, automate.eo so we start with Jira let's go with software cloud pick the first one continue uh, choose an account let's go with this one that we created just for this reason continue uh, we have to pick our project so it's the M stone one as you can see it's it's a, it's this one continue and now we can test our trigger on the uh, second action same as at automate it's service now we click on service now uh, we pick the first one as always and say uh, now we can just sign into service now and we are basically done so that's about it thanks for watching and see you in the next video